Okay guys, we have a lot of work to do. In the last weeks I discovered I like building more than selling and selling more than editing. In this video I want to give you all an update on the robot build and also some upgrades we made to the CNC machine. Today we will do something new. We will mill steel and also hardened steel, but that was not part of the plan. First we mill the last part of the robot structure, which is the hand or the wrist kind of, and you will see this now. Again, I designed the contour so I could hold the part securely in a vise for the second op. What's very forgiving here is that all the crucial fits are milled in the second operation only. Now it was time to assemble the whole wrist and the belt drive. I started with these tie rods to add rigidity. Then followed the motor mount which was later replaced by an SLS 3D printed part. Joint 5 is driven by a NEMA 17 stepper motor with a belt reduction of 2 to 1. I'm still using some plastic parts here which will be milled later. Again preloading the bearings to get zero play. Two dowel pins locate the gearbox of joint 6. This part is planned to be 3D printed. It's hard to mill because here I would need very small and long tooling. Then it was time to tension the belt of joint 5. In the future we will add a spring tensioner here. For wear resistance and rigidity we decided to mill the cycloidal discs of joint 1 to 3 from steel. For this we choose a 4mm 3 flute end mill and then tune in the feeds and speeds on our CNC router. The discs are milled in two operations again and for the second one we milled a fixture plate from aluminum. These steel chips are so nasty because they are not only magnetic but very hot so they will melt into everything that's not metal. For example our acrylic glass. After this I instantly ordered a new computer. Back to work I added the new computer and the monitor. Then I addressed chip management and realized that a grinder is not a drill. I added the cyclone to the barrel and it really sucks. 
And then I covered these slots between the doors and the housing. There were chips flying through on my skin and I burned myself. My brother programmed the homing routine and wanted more smooth actuators. I was a bit under pressure to get all these parts ready. It was then time for the gear housing of joint 3 and joint 4. They are identical and I milled them two times. Sadly, my probe died again. We have to do it the old-fashioned way. The actuator still has some backlash. I need to fix the tolerance between the output pin and the cycloidal disc. However, the actuator is super smooth now. I then continued with the gearbox of joint 5. So I hope to post content more frequently again for you guys and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you.